some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a couple Karens that go by the name of Chris Cordova and Regan Benson who get into tremendous arguments in the city hall interrupting a meeting. But of course, you know how frauditors are. They've always got to be the loudest idiots in the room. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey guys, never met your audits, aka the Mahai Auditor. Here with Big Sister, Regan Benson. And we came to the mayor's office to see if we can uh, get confirmation that they're not going to do a sweep that they have scheduled tomorrow because it's going to be very freezing and snowy temperatures. Circumventing process. So let's go check it out, guys, see what they have to say. Hi there. Cell phone, keys, wallet. Are we taking pictures today? Uh, yeah, we're taking some videos and pictures. So all of that. Really? Really. Uh oh. Okay? Come on through. Uh, you got something up here? Yeah, that may be it. Let me do this. I really am um, opposed to that wanding. You're not what? I'm really opposed to that wanding. Okay, well then go back there and take off whatever setting off the machine is. It was at this moment he knew he f***ed up. That's why I'm wanting you is because you take off whatever it is then and set it well, up. I don't and so it begins. It could be my bra. And so I don't appreciate that. And the fact that you couldn't even say please, now you've pissed me off. Well, you okay? made me mad too. Well, you okay? made me mad too. Well, you okay? made me mad too. Because you're asking Step the f away. You're asking me Step not to Step the walk. F away. All right, see ya. So are you denying the entrance in here? Well, I, you, you, don't, you, haven't, you haven't made it through security. That's fine. First of all, that right you do. I can't do that. Right. And you I'm know this is posted up on we the We can't do what? Record. Do what you do. Oh, sure we can. We're in the city and county building. No, you, no, you, you can't. can't. Yeah, we're and going up post. to the mayor's office. I don't care where you just because I don't care what where your you, sign you, says. Just because it's a sign doesn't language. make it a law. Oh, it is a decree. Oh, the f*** it is. It oh, is not it is. a law. It's a yeah, rule, it and it's not a law. And the way you're treat me right now you're going to be greeted with the same hostility okay yeah, okay I understand good. That. good there's a sign up there i don't give a f about says, your sign okay. i don't give a f so what your turn sign your says off. call the cops you know about to call the cops we ain't turning our cameras off and if you're telling me i can go about my business i'm gonna get on that elevator and go no you're not no why not because you haven't made it through security i want to speak to your yeah. You ain't clear security yet. You, you are? Yeah, please don't film me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna film you because of the way I'm being treated, so... No? No, given their history, they're gonna film you guys no matter how you act toward them. You can be the nicest people in the world and they'll still try to film and antagonize you. It was what you... What you no, it was you! Well, whatever. Okay, well, I still need to come in too. So, I mean, I, you guys have my stuff here. Can I walk in or what? No. No? Why? No, if you're sitting here participating in this little shenanigan, then. Oh, uh, shenanigan. Exercising our constitutional you know rights is a shenanigan to you? Yeah, but Call you the know. cops. Call the cops and let them tell us that this is a shenanigan. How you doing? Hi. Good, thank you. Sheriff's Department. Okay, okay, so we have an issue with. So you have the body cam on now? Yep. So, I simply told this man that I didn't, I was down with the wanding, and so he You're proceeded to what? tell, with the wanding, okay. because I beat. Yes. So, I'm tired of having to undress in security. Okay, but this is a public building, we have to go through security. Okay, and I'm willing and to go through security, okay. but this guy lost control with how he was handling it. So, how would you like me to complete going through security? Well, you have, he has to wand you. If you're not going to be taking off your watch and you're not going to be putting down that, he has to wand you. How about you wand me since you're a woman? 
I would appreciate that. Okay, why are we making this an issue right now? Because, because it's Regan Benson's only job that she's capable of doing. Acting like a complete ass every day just to get a reaction out of people. Oh, you know, like a Karen on steroids. He made it an issue because I tried to explain to him that I have an issue with men wanting women, and he flipped out before I could even finish explaining okay. why I have a problem with that. And why do we have a camera? Because we're in a public building and we're okay, going to right, the mayor's office. So right, this is a courthouse. There is a judicial decree where you cannot be Can recording. you give me that judge's order? Yes, we can. Give us a second. Right now I need you to step on that side since you have not been through security. Five minutes later. I'm going to ask this female sheriff's deputy and the sheriff's department to escort us up to the third floor so we can exercise our constitutionally protected activity to record our interactions with government. We're not here to attend court. You got, you got Snoop Dogg back there laughing because he's too stupid to know what the Constitution is all about. That's why he works for Securitas. Okay. Well, at least that man is employed and not leeching off of everybody else like certain other people around here. Dumber than a box of rocks. Yeah, actually, the difference between this guy and Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg would let us walk in. He wouldn't trample our rights. <laughs> <laughs> For shizzle. You need to get real with the real dog. Dude, you're dumb. I have no idea. You are dumb. Yeah. Did you get that on camera? DMA, don't give up your day job. Get confrontation with me? Yep, I got everything. Good. If my undergarments set this off, I'm still subject to a man with a wand. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Being asked to undress every time I go through security. I'm sick of it. It's wrong. Yeah, I'm thinking the mayor might know now that you guys are coming, so yeah, they're definitely gonna be in meetings. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna definitely be in a meeting now. Mm -hmm. The First Amendment is shenanigans, guys, according to Snoop Dogg yeah. from Securitas. Wanna be Snoop Dogg. Shenanigans. He's not gonna let me in if I'm involved in the shenanigans of the pesky uh, First Amendment, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe that could be our new thing. We have a shenanigan right to come in here and record. You asked for the car earlier. There you go, sir. Here's the traditional decree. That's in my jacket. I left it upstairs. That's in my jacket. I left it upstairs. And here was an explanation by the Chief Justice Martinez. Okay. Is this what's stated? It's the current one for right now. 19. This one isn't signed. Okay. Well, here's the deal. I'm not here to challenge you on this. I would like to go redress my government on the third floor, so I'm willing to turn the camera off. Okay. But I would ask that the sheriff's department escort us to the third floor. Okay, why are and, we escorting uh, you to the third to floor? To make sure we get up there, okay. to make sure there's no issues, and you're a public servant. Okay. Is that okay? We're not gonna ask you escort you to the third floor. We don't escort people around the building unless there's a safety issue. Well, there is a safety What's issue safety now. Issue? It's the confrontation by Securitas here, and the guy that's disappeared. I don't know where he's at. He is right here. I see. No, him. the other, other guy, guy that I had initial contact okay. with. Okay, this is our job is to secure the. That's not my point. Okay. You're asking me what the security issue is, and I'm telling you, and I'm asking you to please you take us up protection? to the third floor. Do you have a no, we don't. We don't. So. So you want an escort around the building. Are you royalty? No, I don't think so. I mean, just drop the attitude with those security guards. Those guys are not going to risk their jobs to follow you around. You want to be a public servant or you don't? Okay, there is security up there too, so I can tell you that right now. Okay, what kind of security? 
There's one of us up there. There's is this an exit right here? Okay. Yes. So the next issue is going to be getting through security. Okay. You have to go through security. All the stuff needs to go through Are security. Are you going to want me? No. Because that's their job. That's what they're... You're denying me entry into this building. I'm not. Yes, you are. All right, let's watch these pigs one more. All right, that's cool. Because that's what it's about. It's about being a pig. All right. All right, pigs, are you ready? Let's do it. Go back to. What? What about the watch? The watch is going on. Come on. Okay, pig, let's do it. Come on, pig, let's go. Turn around. You turn around. You walk behind me. No. Turn around so I can point your head. I just need to point your head. Oh, now it's just my head? Yeah. Oh wow, that was quite invasive. He really violated you. But I mean, seriously, come on. You put up such a fuss, and that is all you had to do. Funny how that changed. No, it didn't change. Yes, it did. Where's the other guy here that got confrontational with me and stuck the bond in my face? He's where he's at. Yes, we want to speak with someone that can respond to my request to understand where the city stands on sweeping the homeless tomorrow in nine degree weather. There are unconstitutional orders to not record redress with your government. So it says, except for authorized law enforcement officers. So they can record you, but you can't record them. Matt is out of the office. Of course he is. Been waiting for him to call me back. So, okay, maybe we'll just wait a little while, see if he'll call you back. I really appreciate your help. Yes, ma'am. I'm working on it. Thank you. It's not, it's not normally what I do. I understand. Just give me a few minutes. Can I get your name? Appreciate you. Sure, my name is Angela. Angela. Thank Angela. You. Angela's been wonderful. Hi, Matt. I'm Regan. Oh, Regan, I don't think you've ever met in person. I know. Nice I, to. I wasn't sure if you're a handshaker or not. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Nice to meet you. Boy, we just went through hell to get up to this office, but we're glad to be here because. We're hopeful to get some answers about tomorrow's suite. Is that fair? Understood. Okay. Thank you very much. No, I appreciate both of your time. Can you have yeah. my card now, okay? Yep. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Matt. I found it after you got in there. What the yeah. Are and you can sign up even by phone and all that. So gotcha. It's just the Wi-Fi was so horrible, it wouldn't pull it up when I was uh, <laughs> Hey, thank you very much. You've been very, very helpful. Sergeant Smith. 34 years you've been with the Denver Sheriff's well, Department in April. Wow. You should be a little more than a sergeant. No, I'm good. You're good with that? Uh-huh. And I know why. I know exactly why. You're a good dude. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you. Uh, are you. Are you going to be able to talk virtually tonight? No, we're actually, we did sign up. We're going to come back in person. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I'll see you there. Cool. See you there. Thank you. Our next speaker, uh, Jenny Chambers, is to bring it. No last name provided. Oh. Hi, it's actually Regan. Hi, thank you. So, I don't speak very often at City Council because it's usually just a colossal waste of time because most of you just stare at me with a blank stare. Um, but I am here today because, if you don't know, I'm an advocate for the homeless. Many of you don't know, I'm assuming none of you know, what's going on out at the streets because I've never seen any of you out there. You, Mr. Flynn, Instead of responding to my emails, oh wait, I'm sorry, what? I don't have free speech at the podium? You, Mr. Flynn, refused to respond to one of my emails when it was a life or death situation. Please don't speak to individual council members. I can speak to you individually. Well, Representative Clark, Joel and Clark, he's my district. I can speak to him directly if I want it. Just to let you know, I had to do a lot of sound editing in this to keep her volume down. I mean, I didn't want any of you guys to have hearing damage done to you, especially those who wear headphones. I can speak to Flynn if I want to. None of these people are responding. So, I am here to speak to you as a whole, but I've got to point out why I'm here to speak to you as a whole. Because you don't give a shit about the homeless. And I'm tired of not seeing any of you out there and you, Flynn, organizing 
with the cops to go out and kick people. Oh, you know what? Start over then. Start over since you interrupted me. My time is counting down. So if you are a person with a soul, Mr. Flynn, you would know that sleeping the homeless is inhumane. You know what we're doing to people now that have campers, single homeless women? We're taking them from them and not giving them access to any of their stuff. How is any of this okay? Why are all of you sitting in silence? Sandoval, Clark, Torres, Black, Cashman, Gilmore, Flynn, Ortega, whatever your name is down there, I can't even see it. This is why I don't come here, because of stuff like this. And I'm speaking directly to you. Can I do that? Yes, I can. And you're not going to stop me from doing that. What you got going out on the streets is inhumane. Step up. Tell the man cop to knock his shit off. This is about life or death. It is about life or death. Thank you very much. No. Yes. No. You Thank me when you get out on the street. You make your comment without profanity. I can do whatever I want all day long for three minutes at this podium, whether you like it or not. And it takes polarization for you people to listen. It's funny, isn't it, Flynn? It's funny, man, isn't it? Let's just look at Flynn for the next 30 seconds. If you're not going to speak now, we're going to move on. Speak, 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 Where are you, Flynn? Speak, speak, speak. We got five more seconds. I'm going to see you out there tomorrow. Sweep and call this. Thank you. And your shenanigans. That was not a speech. That was an outright meltdown. So you never got your point across because you were too busy badgering the city council members. Truly a pathetic showing. Come on, look. look at them all looking down. Look. How's that for speak? Oh, I want to tell him, what's his name? Smith? Yeah, Smith. Was it Smith? Was it Smith? Thank you. I wanted to thank you. No, you have a good night as well. Thank you for everything. Get some nutrition. Get what? Get some food. Yes. Well, we did do that. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. yeah. See, it's like that guy is the guy that needs to be, uh, what's, his, what's the guy's name? The black dude that's the... It's not the chief of police, what are they called? Oh. The deputies the, guys? The sheriff? Uh, yeah, the sheriff. Diggins? Diggins. Yeah. He, he that needs guy to should be Diggins. Be, he needs to be Diggins. Well, that's what we said to him earlier. He's Because yeah, we no. said, oh, you're a sergeant. Yeah. I'm like, you need to be more than a sergeant. He's like, uh, no, thanks. I'm, yeah, I'm he doesn't good. want to. Look, we got Snoop Dogg and the other guy. You call yourselves journalists? All I saw were the actions of a couple of entitled Karens. That's all I saw. No substance whatsoever, but just trying to antagonize and bully people.